What's up, y'all? This is Wisdom Talk. You got Brother Kevin. Brother D. Brother Earl. Yeah, we all here ready. You know how it is. The Wisdom Talk, man. The, the topic of today is going to be perception, man. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. I honestly feel like perception is something that needs to be brought forth to the table because your viewpoint on life has a huge impact on your life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, yeah. fellas, man, what y'all think about perception? What's, what's y'all thoughts on perception? Uh, I think... Perception is, you know, our interpretation of how we see the world, you yeah. know what I'm saying, in our own eyes, how we see the world around us, you yeah. know, uh, our perception is, is kind of based upon our beliefs, mm -hmm. our, our experiences, mm -hmm. you know, and the knowledge that we have, you know what I'm saying, so mm -hmm. the way we perceive things, you know, I say it's based upon you know, a few of those things. Yeah. yeah. What about you, bro? Definitely. So. Just like we were talking earlier on um, perception, it could be seen in two ways, both ways. You could be seeing the glasses on and the glasses off. You've seen it in the dark side and the, the light side. People always tend to have, uh, some people tend to have a negative side to perception and some people have that positive outlook. Like Brother Earl was just saying, it's like really on belief too, and you gotta have that faith with it as well. Yeah. Cause as long as you got that faith with your perception, it's like, on the verge of having drive, like that'll give you that momentum to yeah. actually go forth with doing something. You know what I'm saying? And that motivation. Like, yeah, because it's good. like you got an idea, you got somewhere, you got not an idea, but you got you see a um an end goal basically that yeah. you want to get to with that perception. Like you see where you want to be, you see what you want, That's so you good. go get it. You know and what I'm saying? I, I, what I was thinking about, bro, I was thinking about David and Goliath, right? right? Like when uh, the Israelites they were facing the Philistines, yeah. and um, you know everybody. Everybody that was a part of Israel, but they were scared. Like they yeah. was fearful, and they had a perception that this man can kill all of us. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They was trembling. That's but you had an individual who was a young boy right there, and uh, he had a different perception than everybody else. That's he had the perception like, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he defiles the armies of the living God? Yeah. And I just feel like, man, if we had that perception on things in our lives it can give us that faith to do great things that God has called us to do. Facts, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and we see based on his perception, it led him, it led the whole uh, nation, nation to, to victory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Just based on one man's perception. And that was talked about for years and it's still talked about to this very second, Facts. even in yeah. the book. Like, yeah. They had Goliath's sword in the, um, what it was, in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. They had Goliath's sword there. It was a while. Like they, they really took that and ran with it. Like yeah, no, right. that was the, that was their victory. Yeah, right. and, and, right. and I think it was just the, uh, you know, I say misunderstanding can uh, can form bad perception as well. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Misunderstanding when you don't really understand something, you can have a bad perception about it. Yeah. Uh, so like misunderstanding and misinterpretation as well you know yeah, uh, yeah. that's why i say uh communication is uh is, is the way that you can bridge that gap of perception you yeah. know what i'm saying you ask questions you understand you seek out you search out you know what i'm saying yeah. they kind of help mold the way that you can see a lot of things around you you know what yeah. i'm saying it nice, uh nice. give you a better light it help you see it help you give you uh, your perception a better light of right, how right. you see things. You see right, what I'm right. saying? The and more understanding that you have. That's good, bro. I really like that because I think it was a lesson that uh, I forgot his name, but his brother was doing this lesson, and he, I think it was Brother Stevie. Mm -hmm. He was doing a lesson, man, and he was just basically saying how um, a servant's mentality is to have mm -hmm. uh a great perception and to have understanding yeah. comes from to basically he was saying like to be willing to understand somebody and yeah. change your perception like you saying yeah. you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah and that's a great um that's a great mindset and an attribute to have because yeah. in order for us to love our neighbor as ourselves yeah. we're gonna have to understand where they're coming from yeah. we're gonna have to see differently from our perception and yeah. put ourselves in their shoes yeah. you know what i'm saying you gotta see two sides to the story there's always yeah. two sides to the story you gotta see both of them and you gotta be willing to understand you can't just see it you have to be willing to understand it like bro said understand yeah. it yeah. yeah that's a huge part it plays a big role in communicating that's that is communicating right. so yeah. without understanding you just going back and forth, you really arguing with each other, and that's yeah. not communicating yeah. when you're arguing with somebody. It's more yeah. of a debate. It's barely that. Yeah, yeah that's good right there, bro, because uh, I say whenever we're trying to perceive certain things, 
we have a lot of uh, psychological filters, yeah. things that's blocking us from <coughs> seeing things in a uh, in its natural form. You know, yeah. uh, our attitude, Ooh, you know what I'm saying, key, our yeah. opinions, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying, that's and cool. our beliefs, how we look at somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, the attitude that we have towards that person. Yeah. Like how you say you gotta love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. Well, if you just looking at them with a certain attitude, your perception of that person is gonna always be bad you know what yeah. i'm saying and yeah, that's yeah. why again i say communication is how you bridge that gap of perception yeah, if i'm right. talking to this person i set this person down and i had a nice conversation with them mm -hmm. now maybe i'm not looking at them in a bad light anymore because yeah. he said what the book say uh every man is right what and in his own, own eyes, eyes. Mm -hmm. you see what i'm yeah. saying but the lord yeah. what he weighed the spirit yeah. you see right. what i'm saying yeah. so the spirit you won't know that unless you what Communicate. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Unless you open your mouth and communicate with that yeah. person, your right. perception is gonna always be what it is because yeah. you're looking at it in with the glasses off. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. that's right. And that's good too because that actually that go yeah. hand in hand with um that he say she say. Yeah. 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 All because you heard somebody else say something crazy about somebody that some people actually go run with it now. Actually mm -hmm. try to get to know that person themselves. Mm -hmm. Like you said, with communicating, actually talking mm -hmm. to them, and actually seeing for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, let's talk about that word attitude too, man. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I like what you said, uh, how your perception and your attitude can have like a basically like a relationship with each other. Mm -hmm. um, I honestly feel like a person with the right attitude towards life can really go in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus a person with the wrong attitude. You know what I'm saying? For example, a person can be just like we are right now. They can be sitting down at the park, and they can be like, "Man, it's too many bugs around here. Like, it's it's too many bugs. It's it's hot. It's humid out here." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They got the wrong type of attitude. Yeah. But it, if if a person is like us, man, they enjoying the creation, bro. Like, this is wonderful. Right. Like, we we see the great things that the Lord has created before our eyes. Right. Like, right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And just based on that small choice and decision of your attitude, yeah. it can determine your whole day yeah you know what i'm saying it's good that you said that uh i say your attitude can mold your temperament your mm -hmm. temperament is how you uh, naturally respond or react to certain things you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We, re we respond to things in a bad light and uh we, we grow that bad attitude uh whenever we do have a bad mindset about something just think mm -hmm. of it like this like how we talking about uh perception right yeah. whenever we listening to somebody it's either three things that we doing while we're listening to that person. Mm -hmm. Either accepting what they're saying, mm -hmm. rejecting what they're saying, or we just being non-conformable. Like, you're mm -hmm. really not committing to what it is. You're in, the, you're in the middle about what it is that they're talking about. Because yeah. as people, we have a narrow way of accepting things. And we have a wide range of rejecting things. Right. But in the form right. of communication, whenever yeah. you're communicating, you're supposed to always be open and willing to receive whatever it is that's Thanks. being poured out. You yeah, see that's called saying? active listening. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's good, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like yeah. That, yeah. that can uh, cloud our judgment of perception and mm -hmm. they can uh, pity our attitude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That's fine. Hey, bro. Yeah, perception fine. is huge, man. Yeah, it really like, is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Y'all yeah. yeah, better have a lot right comes perception, with it. man. Yeah. A lot comes uh, with it for A real. lot comes with it, bro. Man. I say, uh, what's that one song with uh, Brother Corey? I say, uh, uh, I said, purge out that leaven. Loving my brethren. Love is a fruit that I'm constantly checking. Hating is Satan's biggest deception. Clean out your eye. Change your perception. perception. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 that's hey. Right. Your eye that's right. Your perception. Look, cause yeah. you, know you, 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 you can wrong. see with your eyes, but yeah. you can be blind, bro, because yeah. you got the wrong perception. Yeah. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? You got to clean your yeah, eye in order to see something. You know what I'm saying? Hey. And a lot of times, I'll... I'll it's the psychological filters. Right. Right. A lot of times our mind can be cloudy based upon how we see and things. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, uh, and a lot of that stuff have to do with how we being nurtured, right. how we was nurtured up, you know what yeah. I'm saying? How we right. was taught, how you was taught to respond into seeing somebody like this, how you mm -hmm. was taught to respond when somebody say something to you like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that mm -hmm. nurturing has a big uh, uh, key part on how you uh perceive things that's why the lord said train up a child what in the way you he he go in the way that he shall go so yeah. when you get older you're, you're not, not going to depart from it right yeah. so you know you always got to be able to uh have good nurturing skills even when you get older you know you got to unlearn to relearn a lot of things you know what i'm saying yeah because you got to break them old patterns in order to become a change and 
renewed version, a better version of yourself. Yeah. Because if you keep them same patterns, your mindset going to be the same exactly it was before. You feel like you got to the other part that you like. All right, so for example, with me in Florida, if I was to still be acting the way I'm acting like I was in Florida, mm -hmm. I would not be, I probably would have never met y'all, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I would not be sitting here with y'all at this very moment, but I had to change my pattern and that leading that, me changing my pattern led to me changing my mindset and me wanting better for myself and not wanting to settle for less or even going out late at night doing mm -hmm. ignorant stuff, you know, just trying to yeah. party, live the best life. But yeah. instead, I chose a different path and that's going towards God. And that. All right, man, sorry about that, man. We had a brief interruption. I phone, uh, a video shut off. But uh, we back with y'all, man, and we're going to talk about uh, how people perceive us. Let's start with uh, Brother Earl, man. How do you feel like people perceive you? Uh, no problem. Uh, me personally, I just feel like people people perceive us based upon the attitude that that person has. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, like how Brother Kevin was saying, if they have a dark understanding, then whatever you say, they're going to be looking at you uh, through the lens of a... a you know, in the darker lens. Yeah, a darker lens. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, probably have hatred, bitterness, yeah. envy. Yeah. So it, it all depends on what type of uh, lens, spirit man. or mode mm -hmm. that that person uh, Ooh. is in, yeah. what they live by, the principles that That's they stand good. on, That's and good. if they have a a, a sound mind. You know, yeah. so mm -hmm. a sound mind, the person will always, you know, uh, render good judgment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, it all depends on. That and I would also say that uh, the interaction and the relationship that uh, we have, you know, concerning the stranger, of course, a stranger wouldn't have a good perspective uh, of who I am. You know what I'm saying? But if you, if you, depending on the type of relationship, whether it's a work relationship, uh, a friendship, you know, or whatever the case may be, you know, that kind of determines a lot of uh, people's perception. Mm -hmm. And the interaction that I had between them, am I lying to them? Yeah. You know, am I being a good person? You know, uh, am I giving good wisdom? Yeah. You know, or you know, am I dealing falsely with them? You mm -hmm. know, so that all all those things taken uh, to consideration on how you know people will perceive me. Yeah. Right. What about you, man? Honestly, um, I feel like some people perceive somewhat, like you said, like people that you don't know. I feel like people that don't know me, they perceive me on based on my outward appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, and when yeah. I say that, you know, I'm, I'm a worker, you know what I'm saying? And some people may see me as, uh, you know, I just work, I'm a working man. So if they see yeah. me, they see stuff they need fixed in their house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people who have a closer relationship with me, I feel like they see me as a, a, a person or a young man who has, has wisdom and mm -hmm. who's seeking a better way for his life. Yeah. Um, that I, it's I, like you said, but you hit the nail on it, on the hammer on the uh, head when you said uh, it's based on what type of relationship you have with that person. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> as for my family, my physical family, I feel like they, they, some of them have different perceptions on me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. uh, I have a, I have a few different relationships with people in my family. Some people in my family I'm closer to. Some people in my family I'm kind of distant to. So mm -hmm. it varies with my family members. Um, but hopefully, you know, um, it's not a bad perception. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What about you, with Kevin? Uh, so what I like to believe is how people see me, hopefully, well, from what I've heard, like, long ago in Houston, like, riding in an Uber, like, I already know by how I speak, some people just believe that I'm just straight hood and that I'm just so, like, lost in the streets and this, right. that, and the third. Yeah, cause yeah. It was one day I was riding with my um, my girl. We was in the Uber, and the dude, he was like, yeah, you sound like you from the hood. I know you from the gutter. Mm -hmm. How I was just speaking, because I was telling him the direction of the, di the directions of where I live. Mm -hmm. And he just like, oh, yeah, it's just certain words you're saying. And yeah. Honestly, people, just like you said, on the outside looking in, like they just look at you like from what you look like or how you sound, and they just go off of that. And I feel... All right, so, yeah, basically, um, you know, just... Being around them, like, I can see how people view me. And, you yeah. know, I just find it interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah, that's basically all I was just talking about. <laughs> all right, man. Well, hey, man, we we uh, at the end of point, y'all, man. Uh, we appreciate y'all for tuning in with uh, Wisdom Talk. Perception was the key. And out of 
you know, and just to bring it on into to closing, uh, perception is really important when it comes to um, a person's lifestyle and also their growth in life. Perception has a lot to do on your destination, just as preparation. So have the right perception, you know, and don't look at life all negative because you do have positive in, in your life also. Before you judge someone, you get to know that person. That's right. Definitely get to That's know right, that person. Hey, man. We love y'all, man. It's another Wisdom Talk. Y'all have a blessed day. Uh, and we'll see y'all next time. All right. Shalom. Shalom.